We've just landed at the top of Mount Erebus. We're up here for a few hours. We just arrived on the first flight, second flight's about to land. John's gonna tell us more about it in a minute. But first of all, this is our flight from Scott Base up to the top of Mount Erebus. So we've got John, Bex, Cole, Jess and myself. high up on the flanks of Mount Erebus, so you can see Mount Erebus. The summit just behind us is a few hundred meters above us. And we're up here uh, partly from a search and rescue point of view, just working out what capabilities we have and having a bit of a reconnaissance uh, trip for an event that's coming down next year. And the idea is that we'll be up here today uh, for a few hours and go for a bit of a walk, see how the altitude affects us up here from our own personal point of view but also um, do some stock taking of what's up here and working out how we're going to provide search and rescue cover for an event that's going to be staged up here next year for a couple of weeks. Been up here maybe half an hour, and um, I'm just hooking into some oxygen. And after half an hour, just starting to feel a little bit, a little bit drowsy, um, a little bit lethargic, and a little bit of a headache. And just seeing how the oxygen, um, oxygen works, and how, how that affects me. Really, hopefully, it will bring me back to a little bit better. I'm pretty good at the moment, but it's just, uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm running on two litres on the auction. Even after a couple of minutes, feel a lot more coherent. Feel like brain power is going up <laughs> and maybe activity will follow. And that's why as a team, it's good for us to monitor each other and we'll be 
checking in pretty often and swapping over the oxygen. We've got a few oxygen bottles around, so yeah, we'll be keeping on top of it. So one of the reasons for us to come up here was to familiarise ourselves with the area. So we're just going to go for a short walk over in that direction to see an old helicopter crash and a funeral cave. So we walked, I don't know, 100 metres over to see this Sea King which is crashed on the side of, of Mount Erebus a few decades ago and it's actually landed on a cave and broken through the roof of the cave, a fumeral cave. So on our right hand side there's some gas coming out from one of the flanks of Erebus and yeah, creates these nice, pretty amazing features called fumerals. Next year there's a guy called Craig Carey who wants to come up to Erebus here and do a science event. Um, not exactly sure what they're going to be looking at, something to do with microbes in some of the fumeral caves and around the, the warm geothermal areas. And we're hoping that you know, some of us are going to be down here again next year and we'll be able to take part in that event. The experience that we'll be gaining from today should be invaluable um, going forward to next year. I'm 84. You're actually only like 25 or something, so. Jess, how are you feeling? Feel pretty good. So we just had some lunch at Lower Erebus Hut and now we're walking over towards the geothermal area at Tramway Ridge. Um, you can definitely tell the difference once you start carrying a backpack and walking. I feel pretty average at the moment, but all good. Uh, I tried some oxygen just before and it's interesting to see how you kind of pick back up real quick and then when you take it off again you start to drop. Pretty breathless. I was definitely struggling to, um, to get enough oxygen on the walk home because it was just a very slight uphill. So it was about two degrees or maybe five degrees uphill and it was really hard to walk. You just had to stop and sit down every kind of five minutes and get your breath. Um, I've only used oxygen uh, once or twice, I think, today. The Diamox was obviously helping. Bex and Jess have gone back on the helicopter, back to Scott Base, on the first flight and it's just Cole, John and myself up here. Up behind us you can see the mountain just kind of smoking away a little bit. It's not too active today, less than normal. 
um, which is kind of nice, I guess. There can be some lava bombs come out up at the top there, just around the crater rim. Another reason why we didn't go up there. Also, it doesn't look like it's very far, but judging by how far we walked today and how hard it was, it wouldn't be much fun walking up to the top of Erebus.